you're a photographer, you've been uh, documenting these these cases, I guess. Do you use the word doppelganger or do you do you refer to them as something else? Uh, in English, I use the word lookalike, but uh, the, in England, they prefer doppelgangers. In, in parts of Canada and parts of the U.S., they say doppelgangers. It's all the same. It, it can be also doubles. Some people say prefer doubles. So if lookalikes, doubles, doppelgangers, it's all the same. <laughs> I love the idea. How did how did you come up with the idea to do this? Yes, it's a uh, well, it's two things. I I, all, I always see a lookalikes all over the place. Uh, even yesterday, I I saw another one, and I, I I keep looking at people and say, "Oh my God!" Even I just look at you a few minutes ago and say, "You look like someone I know," but I just can't recall it right now. So that was one thing that's uh, been happening to me since I'm uh, I'm quite young, and then. Uh, I was told that I looked like a certain Mr. Bean for years by uh, uh, people who watch TV, but not me. I, I'm not a, a t I was not, and I'm still not a TV watcher except for uh, uh, movies. So, uh, so I didn't know what was Mr. Bean. I thought maybe I looked like a bean. My face looks like a bean. So I, I was not even insulted. I just say, uh, yes, some people are weird. They see things that. Uh, but one day I was looking at a television and I saw someone that looked like me and I, I look at this man taking his bath and I think the wall was falling down and it, all kinds of weird things happened to him. And I just said to myself, oh my God, this, this guy looks just like me. When you, when you go into a, to buy some clothes in a, in a shop, you know, do you have the, the mirrors at, a, at an angle? And when you, you look, when you look at a mirror normally, you left your, your right hand and in the mirror, you see your left hand. But in these mirrors, you see, you see yourself as people see you. Like you raise your right hand, and oh, uh, it's the same. Right. So I, it looked like I was seeing myself in the, these funny mirrors. It, it looked like it was me, but I said, "Oh, it's a, you know, this man looks ridiculous. It looks like me, but at least nobody knows." Yes. But then the the program ended, and I saw those letters, Mr. Bean. That, that appeared at the end of the show. And I said, oh no, I think I look like Mr. Bean. And people think I look like Mr. Bean. I thought I looked like James Dean, not Mr. Bean, you know? And I <laughs> still think Dean? I look like James Dean. Yeah, well, you know, when he's in the police station at the beginning of the movie and, uh, you know, like, I'm a rebel, don't talk to me. So I'm still feeling like that, but uh, reality is reality. I hate to tell you, but I do see a little Mr. Bean in your face. <laughs> As long as I, I look like a rich person, that's fine. <laughs> so I had this idea of bringing, finding lookalikes uh, because I had the shock when I saw that. So I said, oh my God, someone that looks like me. So I'm not uh, unique. Let's find some, some people who look the same. I'll bring them together in front of my lens. When they'll be there in front of my camera, they, they will be in a state of shock, you know, like, oh my God. And then I will be able to do a very good photograph. That would be a photograph worth looking at. So um, I started a project, and uh, of course, when people meet for the first time, some of them who meet for the first time, they 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 just say, "Oh, they are they kind of uh, they are kind of uh, I would say uh, a surprise." But a few minutes after that, we get in front of the camera, and then they are not surprised anymore. We're just you know trying to do a a good picture. But how does it work? I mean, if you find someone, I mean, do you just say, I bet there's someone out there who looks like you. And then how do you find that person? How does the, the process work? Yes, uh, th thanks for the for asking. Well, at first I knew of some of them, like maybe I knew about 10 or, or 15 couples that I met all over the years. So when I started my project, I start to, uh, to, 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 to reach for them. Some of them uh, were reachable, some of them were unreachable, and some of them, some of those who were reachable said yes, and some, some said no. So I did about eight couples, and then that was it. I was short of a uh, lookalike. So I thought of putting an ad in the newspaper, but then I, I went to the media, I just I went to the, the media here in Montreal, uh, to the uh, journalist, and I say, please, I'm such a great person, talk about me and my project, and nothing happened for years. <laughs> but uh, with perseverance, uh, you know, uh, at least uh, uh, one journalist uh, understood what I was looking for. And then they, I had an article, then a second article, then an interview. Second, and then I got those emails and by the thousands and people send me their, their pictures telling me, oh, this person is my lookalike. Or uh, 
Uh, I have a lookalike and that, that I met a uh, few days ago and I can find him. I, I got also a lot of letters saying, even this morning, I was in the uh, in the Austrian newspaper this morning and I got uh, maybe 10 letters this morning from uh, people who are looking for their lookalikes, but they don't have it because in the in the media, in the, 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 the article I just read it this morning, they said, if you are looking for your lookalike, uh, just reach reach out for Monsieur Brunel. Said, no, no, no. If you need to have your lookalike. So because of that, I, I could find and photograph 250 pairs of lookalikes uh, across a few countries. Uh. When, when you get the pictures, when you take the pictures, is it important that the background be the same, the clothing be the same, that everything be the same, or, or does it matter? Uh, well, the background is always the same. There's nothing in the background, so that, that's that's uh, that's that's uh, that's 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 uh, solved. Uh, for for the uh, for the clothing, I ask the people when they come. I say, bring a variety of clothing, like some, something pale, something dark, and something in between, and then we'll try to match as uh, much as we can. So sometimes some people forget, and they uh, you know, they just bring one one white shirt, uh, that's it, or one white blouse, and the other one has a, a dark, a gray, a green. <laughs> so, but it, at, the, at the end, it doesn't matter because it's, uh, of course, when the people are dressed the same, it helps. Uh,